Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus is rolling out fourth closed beta update for OnePlus 9 series, which is based on Color OS 13. And in this video, we'll find out what all changes OnePlus have done with this newer update of Color OS 13 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. And it's a closed beta, guys. I won't recommend anyone to install it on their primary phone. So if something goes wrong, you have to fix it yourself. Don't expect any support from OnePlus officials. Because we have seen in past few users facing issues after installing closed beta on their primary phones. So I personally won't recommend anyone to flash it on your primary phone. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel, but they do watch our videos. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And guys, I'll be posting a tweet in the description below. That's not for me, guys. There's a user called Varis Kumar who recently purchased OnePlus 10T. And after 20 days, he's experiencing screen burn on the top side of the screen and the bottom side of the screen so he's already tried visiting service center and they denied the replacement of screen so if you guys can retweet his personal tweet which i'll link in the description below it would be very useful and it might help that individual to get a screen replacement done free of cost one plus 10 screen would cost between 6 to 15 thousand so any amount is not small guys but your tweet can make a, a lot of difference i'm not getting anything from here i'm just trying to help one of our subscriber so make sure to retweet that tweet and hopefully that tweet reaches oneplus and they replace the screen for free of cost and now let's talk about color os 13 closed beta 4 update for oneplus 9 and 9 pro okay so here we have our oneplus 9 let me show you the software information first going to about section here you can see color os version is 13 which is alpha version if you go to version it says f.06 so as said guys this is a cvt build and try avoiding installing it but if someone wants to install it the installation guide is given in the description below just follow that guide and you'll be good to go first let's talk about the benchmark results so here on beta 4 these are the results with single core device have scored 1110 and with multi core device has scored 3103 with Antutu benchmark scores are 8,8519. We also ran CPU throttling test and where you can see CPU max throttled up to 95%. There were no issues in throttling. Average gips were also quite high. And guys, we did not cover the previous builds. For example, closed beta 2 and closed beta 3. But if I compare it with closed beta 1, there are a lot of improvements done with this newer build. I'll also show you the change logs here. If you go to about section, tapping on color OS. So here you can see these are the change logs which are related to system camera application and the next one we have the music application fix. Also you might see a different about section here you can see it's written color OS and we have a cool animation in this text. And this thing have also changed with Oxygen OS. We get to see Oxygen OS written in the about section on the devices running Oxygen OS 13. If we talk about the first change log, so they have optimized the system fluency and other stuff. One change which I did notice after the update. So here you can see this was a screenshot from beta 3 update where you can see the size of brightness slider was also thinner. And if you see here, you can see now the brightness slider is more thicker compared to the previous build. And I also saw another change in the quick setting tiles also you can see the size of quick setting tiles by default was smaller compared to this newer build. So few changes have been done related to UI also with closed beta 4 update for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. After that they have optimized the battery segment so battery segment we cannot predict so soon. We have to use the device for a day or two to get a better idea about the battery drain and the battery backup. You guys let me know whether you want a review on this build then I'll do a complete in-depth review and which will include everything for example battery backup, camera performance, gaming and other stuff. After that they have fixed some camera related issues wherein application used to crash when we used to open the photos directly from here and it used to only crash when the cloud sync is enabled. We'll show you that also in a while but here if you see now we get almost everything like text scanner, dual video mode, 
long exposure and on Oxygen OS 12.1 text scanner wasn't working but now on this build I did not find any kind of issues with the text scanner soon you click a image the device will automatically identify the text and then you can export it and there you can see now the text have also been exported this feature as per the change log oneplus have mentioned on Oxygen OS 12.1 version c.63 but it isn't present on that particular build but color os these features works perfectly fine and now talking about the fix so in which oneplus i mentioned the camera crash issues so here you can see if i open the photo there are no issues and let me also show you the cloud sync have also been enabled for the photo section so here you can see we have enabled the cloud sync for photos and i personally don't have any kind of issues with the camera app getting crash when we open the photos from photo preview directly from the camera application and the last issue is related to the music application so yes guys on first build i did notice this issue though i don't play music but i was testing out some music with this particular application which comes by default installed on color os so here even if you close the application the music used to continuously play in the background but now that thing has been fixed let me show you that so here music is right now running so if i close the application from the recent page and there you can see now we don't see music being played in the background so this has been taken care on first beta i had noticed this issue with music application so guys these are some of the changes what oneplus have done with the color os 13 close beta 4 update if you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day